if there was any arc thus far that has made me love the dub a lot because a lot of the one shots and the joy patriot reunion arc and and and, and those those type those type of uh, of things that I've witnessed thus far have been really really like it but this arc completely blew everything out of the water in terms of performances man it was it was downright the most I laughed and the most that I said man I am truly loving this dub and it, the great thing about it is that we heard so many new performances and after watching it now in the dub because this was this has always been one of my favorites in terms of like the entire series of arcs from a multitude of different reasons in both the manga and the anime but this the watching it now in the dub has made me truly realize that this arc is just like the two years later arc for me in terms of how good it is as a gintama arc as just just solely a not as a not as a comedy arc not as a serious arc but just as a comedy arc it is gold brilliant and truly shows sirachi's uh just how good he is as a, as a mangaka you know but but getting off all of that just talking straight up about the dub it's gonna be a straight up shoot dude man ginko female kondo female sogo and hijikata and uh, Sukoko, uh, it was, it was uh, Sukuyo's male, uh, and then um, Flippin' uh, Yano and, uh, and, and, and Sarutobi's male, male one as well. They nailed theirs beyond belief. <laughs> beyond belief. The two that impressed me the most, uh, I, well, Sokos was really good too, and Hijikatsu was just downright hilarious. But Ginko's and uh, Kondo's really, really impressed me. Ginko just from the moment I heard it I loved it from the moment that I heard it I said it fits her so well and the more that I kept hearing it it, it was just it was brilliant it was brilliant her performance in all in all three episodes of the arc was downright perfect from from, from the amazing performance from, from her final scene where she is giving that that speech to to Jubei at the time, which we know as Kubei, uh, giving giving that amazing speech about you know no matter which one that you choose, regardless of uh, of what you choose, you're always gonna be ravering. But but you know it's it it, it, it why is that such a bad thing? Yo, Gin is the goat. Gin is the goat, no matter who, no matter what gender he's in. Man, that's that's such that's an amazing line. It's like regardless of which you choose. You're gonna be wavering regardless. You're gonna be wavering regardless. That's just what it means to be human. That's just what it means to be you. To be true to yourself. Gin, you know, Gin, Gin is always good, but Ginko nailing that performance was so well. But she also nailed the amazing. She nailed the amazing. Um, whenever you're like the whole, uh, uh, <laughs> we're supposed to act the way we're supposed to act of sequences with 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 uh, Hijikata and Sogo were glorious. <laughs> the, <laughs> Yo, her and Hijikata bakering was what had me dying, absolutely dying. Really good stuff there, but um, <laughs> all of the pork scenes, you know, the pork scenes with Hijikata and, and Sogo and Kondo were just roasting her, literally, literally roasting her. Oh man, but regardless, Kondo's truly grew on me, you know, because I loved Ginkos, but Kong Kondo's grew on me because at first when I heard it, I said, I don't know, episode two seventy nine, it didn't really. I didn't really like it as much, but you know, once one or, or, or what, what, what episode number did I say? I meant two seventy five. In episode two seventy five, I, um, I I didn't really like it as much. But when I got to by, by episode two seventy seven, I truly liked Kondo's voice actress. Man, I really, 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 really did. It was it was great. I mean, some of the performances that that, that she had in terms of nailing some lines the way that, that that they just had an impact like like those those that final speed or that final uh little dialogue sequence that she had with with otai and, and kube at the, at, the, at the table that was done so well and maybe it's because i had been so used to her voice by then but by then yo the way that, that, that she delivered that dialogue was fantastic and it and it stuck with me it still it still stuck with me right now so you know it was really really good and that 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 one in particular really, I started off not liking it that much, and by the end of the arc, I was really really digging it. 
So goes from the moment I from the moment I heard from the moment I heard it. I loved it. I can't believe. I still can't believe that they allowed them to say Kantsengumi in the English. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in this arc that I couldn't believe they said. Uh, and, and he, like when Gitoki was like, uh, call me vagina. No, no, Ginko, Ginko, Ginko. <laughs> Yo, Congress voice actor's too much. Every time he showed up, I started dying. Congress too much. Con Congress voice actor was too much, man. Oh, that was that was brilliant. And reliving a lot of just the normal scenes that are both in the sub and the manga version as well were just excellent. You know, the, 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 but the dub really kept it. It kept, you know, it was interesting with the gender bent arc, and I think that's why I like it so much because it kept so much from the original versions, but it added its own taste because by hearing a lot of a lot of the of, of the vulgarity that they stayed in this arc, you know, with like. Oh, every, 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 like everything that I just stated beforehand, except in the, in my own language, it truly made me think that this arc would do so well on, on Adult Swim comedy, man. It truly do it, and I, and I continue to say it, but with this arc, I know for a fact it would do so well. It was just downright hilarious. It's that type of arc that you, you wouldn't even need to be a fan of this series to appreciate. It, that's just how funny the arc is. <laughs> It, well, uh, maybe some scenes like with with with, with like the Hijika with Hijikata and what and whatnot. You know, there's a couple scenes of course you need to be a fan of the series to understand the jokes, but there's, it's just so flipping funny, man. Uh, oh, I love this arc so much, and the dub gave me going back to it, the dub gave me such an interesting experience because it gave me a brand new experience with the dub that gave it like its own feel. Uh, but at the same time, it still kept so much of what made it so good in the manga and the and the sub version. And it really nailed home a lot of those jokes. Ginko was so good. I loved Ginko's uh, overall performance, man. It was it, it was greatness. But it's good just starting off from the beginning to the end, like I said before, tackling that theme of being true to yourself, man. It, it's 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 awesome. It's, it's it's a theme that I've always loved about the gender bent arc. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter with which gender you're born with, just as long as you're true to yourself and true to who you are. Then that that's that's all that matters, man. As 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 long as your the relationship that you've had don't change, because it was so interesting the way the Sirachi had it done by the time we reached episode episode two hundred seventy seven, because by the time we reached that episode, so many of the things and so so many of the things that were happening were doing so good for so, so many of the parties in favor, like for for Kube, for Sarutobi, for um, Sukuyo, Otai was what was, was even at. Uh, like happy for it in a certain extent. Kondo was was digging. Yo, that line. This is the thing that made Kondo's voice actor so good when she stated that if you dare ever make Otai cry, then I'll just have to arrest you. And yo, that she delivered that line spot on. It was goat. But yeah, just going go, going back to the, like a, a lot of these guys, um, really, you know them staying in in this state really wouldn't have uh, of 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 caused any pain to them in terms of of their position in 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 overall society and in, in, in their position in of what they can do on a regular and daily basis because ju ju just just in general and i loved a couple of those lines to where you know, they 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 were more manly than any of the men have, 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 have ever ever could wish to be you know in terms of like getting heji in any of them but i loved that by by the end of the arc we got that we got that final sequence i love that the final sequence is all of them back to their original genders back back to their original states and they're in the theater all together enjoying a film you know all acting the way that they usually would just showing that, you know, no matter what happens and no matter what gender you, you may take on or no matter what the case it may be in Kabuki Cho, the relationships that, that you have established in here will never cease to exist. And as long as you stay true to yourself, that is all that matters, man. And that's beautiful, dude. That's, that's flipping awesome sauce. I love it. I love that final uh, that final line of dialogue from Gin, from Ginko to 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 Kube whenever she has to accept it. Whenever uh, Otai is waiting back home with a ticket, and you know, even though she she had she, she was wavering with these feelings, she she just came to accept it. It's like you know what, you know, uh, why 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 am I doing this? You know, she she's taking shelter from the rain. She states, and then she then she asks for a ticket so that she can watch a film just with a friend.
And I found that to be so awesome, Sauce, because for Kyubei, you know how much that must have hurt. And like, Kyubei basically wanted to go out with Otai, for, or, or, or has had feelings for Otai for so long. Finally, it, it seemed like something that was acceptable. You know, just, be, just because now, now they're different genders is something that, 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 that could be accepted. But, you know, in, 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 in terms of, of, of the Gintama world and the way that the world views them in, in, the, in their particular series. And I just found it to be so, so crazy how they were willing to pull, they were willing to put aside how they felt for each other. And in that arc, just to put everything back to normal in a place that they love so much in Kabuki Cho, you know, to keep all those relationships and to keep, to, to make, because Kyubei at the end of the day, even though it would have done well for her, she understood that what makes her her is also what keeps this cat town intact it's, it's it's also you know her being true to herself would in turn bring everybody back to the way that that that, that they were would bring everything back to the way that it was you know the place that that she ultimately loves you know even though that this this brand new way of, of living life uh, is is fine and dandy and it has been great you know it's 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 not it's not what what she is it's not who she is you know it's like it's, it's like the saying that you know, you can have all all everything in the world, but if if you're lying to yourself, you know, if you're not honest to yourself, then what's the point? And um, and it, because you're not not gonna be happy. And I, I think Kubey understood that. Kubey understood that th this whole thing would have just ended up being all all Sazam anyway, and she and, and and nothing good would have come out of it in the end because so many people would would have would have been in completely opposite uh situations that that and then they should have been, and um. I don't know if that came across right on camera, but regardless, I don't care. <laughs> it, it, it was right in my mind. But it's something I've always loved about this arc. You know, it's the whole staying true to yourself concept has always been really awesome. But it was it was so, so, so many awesome things. Uh, this arc from beginning to end in the dub was absolutely hilarious. Loved every single thing about it. We even got a sighting. And uh, it was it was so good. The Shinsengumi by far were the, uh, uh, the Shinsengumi, Kagura, and and Ginko were the stars in terms of comedy. Man, oh my god, bro! I, I when I tell you, they were, no no no, I, was, I I I called them wrong. The Kunsengumi were the funniest dude. When Sogo is the top courtesan, <laughs> and she's over here whipping everything. I mean, <laughs> she has the people sunglasses on. Oh man, and then flipping. Uh, Kondo and, and Iji Kondo are strippers and they're, they're out here flipping it. <laughs> Kondo, man. Yo, that was such a beast line. If you dare to make Otai cry. And that was another interesting uh, little little tidbit as well. As a person who, who personally ships uh, Otai. And oh, for, first, two things for, about, for my OTP. For my OTP, or a couple of my OTPs. The first one uh, was Soko. Whenever, when the first thing that she goes to, whenever like they, they you know, she's acting like like a slaughter. Apparently, you know that, that, that's what that's what they call her, and um, and like like a high school girl. And she goes up in there, and and she, the first the first person that she goes to is Cogger. And I was like, yo, shout out to Sirachi, man. I, I I completely forgot about that. And then um, the other one was the way that going back to the conversation. I love the conversation so much. I, yeah, I really do. The one with with, with um, Kubei, Otai, and 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 uh. And and uh, flipping uh, Kondo, God, I was gonna say Goriko because that was the way Otai called her. Uh, but um, yeah, with, with Kondo and just like just the way she states, like now he 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 even kept like because Kube was was thinking it was she was wavering throughout the entire this entire thing, you know, stating whether it's okay to feel this way. And Kondo goes up in there and and he tells her he's like, look, you know, it is it is what it is. I understand that if we're never able to go back, it's 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 okay, but. Since now you are the only one that I can trust with Otai, he even gives her a movie ticket so they can continue on with the relationship, and he just accepts the fact that he that he will stay as friends with Otai. You know, the, basically the same. It's 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 just the switching of uh, of of a uh, of, uh, of, uh, character arcs here, or, or, or I should say, of it's like. It's like they, as if they switched roles, because Kyuubi is the one that first accepted that fact in the first place, that not, that that she would just accept Otai as a friend, and not through and not as as from a lover's perspective or as a in terms of like a physically attracted to one another perspective, uh, you know, and and that type of way, lovers I guess is the best way to put it. But Kondo comes to accept this, and we know how Kondo is, 
And he says, you know, it's it, it's 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 actually pretty nice, uh, actually being able to be friends with 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 Otai instead of just stalking her. Oh uh, man, and and he he goes on this amazing speech about how it was even better than he imagined. Otai's just blushing, and you know, I'm blushing. I'm like, man, God no! And it's amazing how how that how that thing worked because that's the same exact thing that Cuba eventually ended up doing, is living everything in the past just so that. Just so that everything could end up being happy and everyone could end up, you know, going back to, way, to the way it was supposed to be. And uh, Kubey made the sacrifice as well, the same way the condo did in that specific scene, which, which is why that scene is so important. Because after that scene, you know, and after, after of course, the Ginkgo scene, it, it, all, it all nails Kubey and she goes and basically does the same thing the condo there that sacrifice and it's so cool it's such a it's, it's such a great scene i love i love whenever stuff like that leads into a decision that someone ultimately has to make later on down the line because it just shows that their character relationships and the the you meeting these people truly had an impact on who you are and it, it it's it's amazing it's it's awesome sauce and it's it's truly something that I love so much about Gintama. You know, I've always said that Gintama's biggest strength is his characters, and in this case, that's most certainly the case. But man, just staying on to the dub by itself, you know, I've been talking a lot about the gender, the gender brand arc as a whole, as a whole. but you know, and just in terms of the dub itself, the performances were excellent. These, these guys are killing it. Uh, probably my favorite uh, arc in the dub thus far. I feel like I can rewatch this so many times. They did a fantastic job with with this in the dub um you know looking forward for, to the shinigami arc awesome sauce later on down too but for right now uh gender bend for the first 13 episodes for sure that is my favorite of 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 the stuff that i've seen thus far in the dub really really awesome stuff really funny and they nailed a lot of those scenes so well man i god so good really good stuff man and when when you give me something so similar to the original, but yet give me like a brand new memory, a brand new experience with this dub, that's all. That's all I look for, man. That that is all I ask for. When it comes to this dub, it's a dub. It's a dub that makes me so proud to be a fan of Gotama, and I can't wait to own it. I can't wait to own the, these Blu-rays. It's gonna be awesome sauce, and um, you know, I'm. I, it's it's. It needs to be on my television, man. It's so good. It needs to be on my television. Shout out to shout, shout out to Kunt and Gumi. It's not vagina, it's ginkgo, and outdoor defecation. <laughs> outdoor defecation, folks. Outdoor, okay, the gender bend arc is awesome sauce, man. One more needs to be said. I love this arc so much, dude.